Hi, this is Editor's Take. I'm Sakshi Batra and I have with me my colleague uh, Gaurav Chaudhary. He's the Deputy Executive Editor of Money Control and we are here to discuss about the Amrapali case which is up for hearing at the Supreme Court. Thanks a lot Gaurav for joining in. Now the marathon hearings have begun at the Supreme Court in this case. Over 40,000 home buyers are hopeful of now receiving justice and relief in their uh, homes. Which there has been a, over a decade long wait before they've got their homes. So uh, for the benefit of all the viewers, could you help us understand the entire case first. So in, 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 it was about uh, one and a half years ago in September 2017 when a group of buyers actually went to the Supreme Court seeking yeah. redressal for uh, you know no, the builder not uh, de delivering on the uh, flats that they had booked yeah. for several years and much after they had you know promised to deliver and there was no no pro uh, uh, no uh, expectation inside there was no hope inside because the builder kept on pushing the date. Sure. And there was no uh, grievance redressal mechanism put in place, so it was mm. essentially uh, on on based on the builder what the builder says. The buyers had to take it on face value, and they were they were treated as if you know the, the builder was doing the buyers a favor. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, clearly there was uh, the builder had no the buyers had no other option but to go to the Supreme Court and right. seek seek redressal. Supreme Court had had been hearing the case, and we are now in the final stage where the Supreme Court has begun hearing the case for three back-to-back -back days Correct. on the end of which we should have uh, the Supreme Court is expected to give a ruling uh, the buyers are very hopeful uh, that the ruling will come in their favor because the arguments have all been made and and the builder wanted to make you know sought more time to make uh, present more documents yeah. and evidence but the Supreme Court said that that is not going to be allowed any longer the court is going to uh, you know give a ruling after the after this round of hearings uh, and you know various things have happened in between sure. uh, the, so the court had asked the builder to present uh, the forensic audited reports yeah. uh, the list of projects uh, that it's uh, it has delivered the list of projects it has not delivered sure. and also uh, the builder was asked to categorize all its projects in three categories mm. club it in three categories mm. a b and c a mm. projects that were delivered b that were semi deli under semi uh, you know semi delivered stage and c that are clearly nowhere inside of and still under construction after several years right. uh, all those have been uh, you know presented some of those have been presented the court has gone through all the evidence here uh, arguments and counter arguments from both sides have been presented and clearly the court has said that they it is now going to uh, hear the matter uh, and uh, give right. a final ruling uh, by the end of the third day. Right. So uh, today at 10.30 in the morning, this uh, hearing has uh, begun. It is underway. It will go on till late evening, then tomorrow and day after, which is the 2nd of May. These three days marathon hearings will take place. What are the key issues that the uh, court is going to be hearing today? So uh, clearly, uh, the, one of the biggest, uh, you know, one of the main bones of contention is that uh, the, uh, the buyers have been uh, saying that we have paid the money yeah. for our houses. The builder has collected the money. Where is the money gone? And the court has therefore said that the audited books or even the unaudited books of accounts of the builder need project wise yeah. need to be presented. Sure. Uh, and these need to be forensically tested, which has happened. Yeah. Uh, court clearly did not like the fact that the forensic audit reports mm. actually came out in the open mm. because these were supposed to be examined only by the court. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's the buyers are buyer, buyers have a point of view and the point of view is that if the buyers have paid money and so many years in almost 10 years have lapsed yeah. elapsed where has the money gone because if the co if if the builder is taking a plea that it doesn't have the money to complete the project then where has the money gone sure so it may well have been the case that the builder would have taken money from uh, for one project from buyers and would have used that money in some other project yeah and would have kept on circulating this money. Right. By the time he ran out of money, the builder ran out of money. None of most of the projects were in a stage of, uh, you know, were not complete. Were in mm. incomplete stage. Mm. And by the time he ran out of money and had, you know, had no other options to raise money. Sure. Things have come to a head, and that is why uh, the Supreme Court is examining whether this should be allowed to pass because many things have happened in between. Uh, in the legislative space also we have now the RERA mechanism mm -hmm. etc etc mm. so the Supreme Court will clearly take a view on this yeah. and based on what the Supreme Court says this could well serve as a precedent for the entire real estate yes, industry in India absolutely. that buyers cannot take builders for a ride 
and that is that is a message that build, uh, buyers are expecting and hoping to hear from the Supreme Court. Absolutely. So, is there really hope for the home buyers now? There are lenders also who are uh, you know hopeful of getting their funds back. Then there are the Noida and the Greater Noida authorities, which already have their own dues as well, to the tune of 1930 crores and 2800 crores, respectively. Uh, so, you know, there is a huge money involved over here. Now, the court is also going to be considering that whether the money, if it was used for completion of some other projects, if they have been, uh, you know, uh, pro completed, if they could be sold and uh, all the money could be returned to all these home buyers. So, there are lots of things that are uh, going to be discussed at the court today and in the following two days as well. So, what's the kind of hope that home buyers can have from this? No, it's it will be very difficult to prejudge what the court is going yeah. to say, and yeah. I, I don't think we should be doing that. But, yeah. but from the purely from the buyer's point of view, they seem to have a very strong case. Uh, you cannot have a situation where builder cannot complete a project in 10 years when mm. the money have been paid up front yeah most of these people have taken loans from from banks and have paid money so they, they most of them are probably paying emis on that on the houses that there's no you know no certainty inside on when they're going to take uh, get the pro uh, houses so the supreme court uh, is clearly examining all this and where was the money siphoned off what did the builder do with the money uh, and why are builder why how can builders be dealing with buyers with such impunity Mm. Why is there no grievance redress, redressal mechanism? Why, sure. why, why can't builders stick to a timeline uh, on their promised delivery? All these things clearly are aspects that the Supreme Court is examining and is, you know, it could have a bearing on all of these aspects when the Supreme Court delivers its final judgment on this. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Gaurav, for sharing all that insight. And for the benefit of all the viewers, let us tell you that senior advocate Geeta Lutra has actually appeared on behalf of Amrapali Group today and also told the court that uh, while there are no issues with construction and two days' time is required to access all the audit reports and to file a reply, to this, Justice Arun Mishra also responded by saying that the matter cannot be adjourned as the group had enough time to file a response in this case. The court also said that they will close the case maximum by day after tomorrow. This can be seen as a big breather for all the home buyers who are hopeful of receiving justice in this matter. Thanks a lot for joining us in this edition of Editor's Take and do stay logged on to moneycontrol.com for more news and updates. Thanks for watching.